Oh man, I can't believe such a thing. I mean, I can actually. Ah, cords are bad. Let this be known. By the way, watch out for an incoming computer noise, kids. Oh no! A computer noise! <laughs> what are the odds? Uh, bleh? That one. Sure, it looks really good. Boy, howdy, I'm gonna have to, like, actually deal with this nonsense. Are you telling me Goku isn't real? Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. No well, I think that was a thing even in the original. Uh, for getting Nookingtons, you needed to have someone from another town buy something. So it was kind of weird in the first game, because if you didn't have a friend with another memory card, or just another memory card on its own, uh, you just never get Nookingtons. It's weird. I should probably start the game so I can actually, like, get the correct aspect ratios here. Gosh, they even replicated the Nintendo thing. I can't believe they would do that. Wow, look at clouds. Actually, I think what I want... I actually want this, I think. I forgot this game, like... had this song, I guess. I'm gonna need to do some cropping, looks like. Move the heck over. It's the only Animal Crossing you've played. This one's pretty all right, though admittedly, not the greatest. <laughs> Is this game on Virtual Console for Wii U? I actually do not remember. Oh, cool, I did it. Oh no. I think her name is Pearl. She got mad. Just in case I need it, let's actually get this one set up too. DS games be weird, yo. Alright. I did it. I mean, the lack of connectivity with friends is weird, for sure. I forgot this game just kind of stops playing music after a while. I didn't have to touch to start. I just pressed a button. Oh yeah, tag mode. Street pass before street pass existed. <laughs> Okay, seriously though, why did I... Alright. So, we have the revenge of my sister it being here also. Uh, but also, Andrea is here. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and guess. This is another character that I made. This is just a gender-bent version. I guess? What's the phone? Oh yeah, I named my town Del Sana for some reason. Oh, this is how I changed the clock. I wasn't actually sure. Well, that's fine. <laughs> Find? That's fine. Um, 
Alternatively, it could be my sister's friend, because I know she had a friend named Andrea. It seems more likely the first thing, though. I'm awake now. Gosh, this screen is tiny. <laughs> it's about four friends who... Uh... I do not remember how to quote that commercial. <laughs> anyway, I've come out of comatose after years of, you know, not... This game was weird because it's just like, yo, let's just straight up share a house. Oh yeah, I got letters and junk. Town Hall? Wow, that's a lot of money. I guess. HRA. <laughs> nice. Cool and nice. I appreciate the screen switching, actually. Yeah, so this game um, introduced the slingshot item, which is neat. The heck is this? A four-leaf clover? Why do I just have that? Hello, follower person. How are you? I don't know why I have a four-leaf clover. I have another four-leaf clover. Guys, I got two four-leaf clovers. I'm the best. Okay. Did I hear the faint sound of a UFO somewhere? You know what I'm talking about, right? Man, this place has just as much weeds as the other place I used to live in. The UFO event in this game, it's like excessively rare and like you can just miss it <laughs> also here's a fun thing the nickname core somehow this never came up during the emerald stream which is where it technically originated i admittedly don't remember the reason for the name it was just kind of a nickname i had at one point Everybody's saying me too. I think I remember this vaguely. <laughs> My house is so big now. I doubt that very much. What does this button do? Oh, that's just another way to go to the inventory. Well, I mean, I don't need these these, these clovers here very much. Is there only eight directional movement in this game? It seems like. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I Okay, listen. I'm trying to play this with a circle pad right now, and I forgot the, the DS didn't have a circle pad. <laughs> That's on me, friends. I like the idea of always being able to see the sky, but at the same time, it feels like a waste of space, maybe? To be fair, I do enjoy the idea of a DS game that doesn't feel the need to use both screens at all times. Check out all the fish I caught. I think I got all of them, actually. Did I get all the fish? There's a weird scroll bar instead of like a full... Li oh no, I didn't actually. I actually didn't catch all the fish? The heck, self? What are you doing with your life? I didn't catch all the bugs either. What the heck, man? You can type in this game. 
I can cry in this game. It might be useful if I like. I don't know. Can I? Okay, here we go. We can get a close up of myself crying finally. Oh no! I say close up, but I've moved to the bottom screen now. <laughs> That's why I came prepared. Finally, I can cry. I can be sneaky. I can whistle, I guess. And then I can think. Thinking is probably the worst of all. Maybe? I don't know. Hmm. There we go. I did it. <laughs> There's a map that I have. Cool. Oh gosh, I have a friends list, all right. These are people I might recognize, maybe. Hmm. Oh no, I don't have a friend code anymore. No! Friends present. None. Truly sad. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't catch all the fish and bugs. Some of those are friends of current G guy. You might have recognized some names in there. Maybe. Did I at least get all of the fossils? You know it's a good Animal Crossing playthrough when I get all the fossils. There's more fossils to get in this game too, so you know. Gosh, this uh, eight directional movement is kind of throwing me off a bit. Look at all the fossils I have. Yeah, I think I got all of them. Nice! I did it. There's nothing on the back wall. But more importantly, the bugs! Look at all of these insectile friends. Dear patrons, don't step on the cockroach. <laughs> I didn't want to, I wasn't trying, I'm sorry. Dude ran under my feet as I was just trying to move around. Oh, okay, listen, this game introduces the tarantula and the scorpion. It's great. <laughs> Is Dragonfly gonna land on my head? Seemingly no. It's gonna land on that weed, though. That's exciting. I always found it hilarious that um, the, the scorpion and the tarantula just end up fighting each other once you donate both of them. It's equally funny if you only have one of them donated because then it just kind of watches you. That's funny somehow. You're looking at Animal Crossing DS. Also known as, you know, Animal Crossing Wild World. It's, it's the game on the DS. The graphics uh, leave a little bit to be desired, but uh, I'm not too concerned with that. I don't have a ton of memories with this game, admittedly. 
Um, I remember being hype for it, because, you know, adding online to a game like Animal Crossing is, uh, a pretty big deal, gotta say. Uh, this game just doesn't really do much, though. I mean, there's a lot of improvements to how things operate, but, like... First off, Holidays got absolutely neutered. I'm trying to remember, the only, like, standard holiday, I think, is New Year's. Like, I think every other holiday is just gone, because... Their idea was like, hey, we're gonna release this game worldwide. So, because certain regions of the world don't celebrate this or that, might as well remove the holiday. So, <laughs> that's why we get such gems as Yay Day and Ladi Day. They're great. Also, Celeste is here. Don't tell Kirby. It's Toverlord. Sup? Celeste was just resting her eyes. I totally believe her. Okay. You're cute. Hootie toot. <laughs> Why is that even an option? I mean, you know, whatever, but it's still silly. Oh, it's T-Overlord? I mean, I was close. I want to go stargazing. You ever just erase a constellation? That's a thing I can do. I want to look at them, because it's not nighttime right now, because I changed the clock. Alright, so a cool new thing you can do in this game was make your own constellations. You had to use the stars that are present, though. So, it's a thing. Eight. <laughs> Wheel. Wow, I made some good constellations, guys. Flag. Uh. Face. Sure. A pan? That's blatantly the Big Dipper, you idiot, stupid, dumb face. Man, I was one of the few people that didn't make a Triforce. Can't believe it. <laughs> it's a neat idea. Did they have constellations in City Folk? I actually don't remember. Also, I freaking went to Brewster's and I didn't even get a coffee. I mean, okay, Wild or Wild World has the top screen to show like the sky at all times, which is kind of neat. I think City Folk did it a little bit better in that you can just press up on the D-pad to look up at the sky. Cause like you don't really need to see the sky at all times. My, he remembers my favorite blend, even many years after the fact. Yeah, City Folk is basically just this game, but on a console. And, you know, with actual holidays. <laughs> okay. To be honest, I have a whole lot more memories with City Folk than I do this game, so... It sure is customer service. This is where KK appears now, by the way. It's not Saturday, so... Can't really do that. Also, I set the time wrong, because it... it it turned to the next day somehow. I'm not sure how that happened, actually, because I know it was set for 25. Unless my game... 
Because I think I set the 3DS... Like, I, I changed the 3DS clock. But maybe the game itself is, for some reason, a day ahead? I don't know why that is, actually. I haven't even heard what the town tune is yet. Oh, it's the Metroid theme. Okay. <laughs> yes, I totally didn't move to a different town. Not one close to the city. Nope. Your nose is touching my face. I mean, a little bit. Do you, you want to tell our bird friend in town that you have this this caged bird here? No, we're just just gonna gloss over that. All right. <laughs> oh man, I have a shovel and I can dig some stuff up. Wow, it's a pitfall. This is the part of the series where, um, oh, that's right, I can't, they, they didn't introduce that until City Folk, I think, where you can fill in holes with, like, the B button or something. I didn't actually push the B button. Okay, it's, it ain't working out. No! Bad! I gotta fill the holes! type of animals do I want? I mean, there's so many animals in the universe. Oh yeah, this game also ditched the acre system. Is that just straight up a coconut that washed up on the beach? I don't remember that being a thing. Yeah, there's a sick grasshopper. Get excited. Kurt is not here. But Bearface is, I th think that actually is Kurt. <laughs> Not lit! Why do you bake Alaska? Hold on, Alaska. Oh, okay, see... Remember how in Animal Crossing, I'm like, wow, it keeps track of how many months it's been since we've spoke? Apparently this game does have a cap. It's 12 months. I guarantee you I didn't touch this game a year ago. New Horizons looks like my jam. Like, okay... I'll probably get to this in City Folk, and I'm kind of alluding to it now, but, like, the console Animal Crossings were more my jam, just in general. So, uh, you know. Like, New Leaf was great, but there, I don't know, there's something about the presentation of being on a console that I really like the appeal of. Oops, I hit you with a shovel somehow. All I wanted to do was speak to you. I'm sorry, Pearl. I didn't mean it. Everybody knows me as Core for some reason. It's a nickname that existed. There's a freaking balloon present in the background. It's like super far away. I wonder how many people noticed it, because I sure didn't. I wonder if I can actually get to it in time. I doubt it. I'm pretty close to the left edge of the world. Oh, no, that's all the way over there. <laughs> Rip! I don't remember what was in balloon presents in this game. Is it just random items? Because I know in New Leaf, they kind of changed how it worked. And then they changed how it worked again, actually. 
Is that a bigger than usual fish? Am I about to do some some sick fishing here? Where, where did it go? I was I was oh it's in the freaking the, the water pool thing. Why you gotta be on the other side, you stupid aquatic aminal? Alright, here we go, kids. That sound is very quiet. <laughs> Yo, it's a carp! A diem! I did it, I caught a carp. I, I'm the best. You know what feature is in this game that I do miss? The letters in a bottle. Like, dude. First off, I kind of understand why they're gone. Second off, I hate that they're gone. <laughs> it's such a neat idea. Wait, have we never met? Like, actually? How is it we've never met? I mean, you must have moved in at some point, and then I just didn't notice, and then I stopped playing the game. I don't know. It's weird. What do I like better? Uh. Uh. Backs are cool. I don't know. Well, I mean, listen, you know the phrase, you gotta put your back into it. Like, you're not gonna be lifting stuff if your back is flabby. Alright? Snake villagers. Huh. My big problem with the balloon series is once you complete the balloon series, the rest of them are just worthless. <laughs> like, they don't even sell for a good price. I had Rosie in my town? Wow! I moved to the big city. Oh, trust me, I was- I was in bed many times. <gasps> Guys! What do you think Rosie just got interested in? What could it be? I mean, given, like, I haven't touched this game in, uh... How old is this game? <laughs> is it over a decade now? I think it's over a decade, because I very doubt that I've played this game at all since the release of City Folk. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna guess <laughs> aging. Yes, of course. <laughs> I've gotten to the age where I'm real interested in aging. <laughs> I just like the idea of getting older, don't you? Oh, that's way less exciting than any of the things I could possibly imagine. You want to see my house? Okay. I mean, I'd prefer it if it was right now, actually. Why Why can't it be right now? Free game, and now Kurt is here. Oh really? You're gonna you're gonna stick me in this freaking thing? What is the limit here? I've missed Kurt. This is all your fault, Rosie. Can you do like ten minutes? You can't get ready in ten minutes. You're literally right in front of what I assume is your house.
Do you not have makeup on now? Like, I, I, Rosie, you're killing me here. Kurt's probably over in a corner like, why won't he pay attention to me? Wow, really? Like, do I have to go full half hour? Because I very doubt I'm going to be playing this game for a half hour. Like, I hate to be that guy, Rosie, but, um... Really? You can't do it in a half hour. We're just going to see my room. Literally, who cares what you look like? I don't. All right, fine. Be that way. You, you want to play this game? I'll play this game. We're going to meet as late as possible now. Okay, so it's literally only... Yep, 12 hours from now. That's how long it's going to take you, I guess. Don't forget! <laughs> Goodbye forever, Rosie. <laughs> Anything cool on the bulletin board? Coffee shops are great! That's a good message, probably. Alright. Wait, hold on. What was, what was that? Just one bite won't hurt. Yum. Bite. Gobble, gobble. Yum. I ate 12 cupcakes. Good to know. Oh man, it's yay day! In case you guys don't know, Yay Day is the holiday where you give compliments to each other. That's it. That's that's the holiday. I love pop music, but I can't understand what they're saying. Do wop bop, huh? I don't know. Hey, look, it's Yay Day again. There is no I in team, but there is one in traitor. There could be an I in team if you spell it wrong. Yay day was yesterday, was it? Uh, not quite yesterday. Well, no, it would be yesterday because it says tomorrow. That's hilarious. Fishing tournament. Oh man. I'm glad that the bulletin board gets filled up with a bunch of useless garbage, so there might not even be a message from the past in here. What is the po- Ah, there's la -dee day Aw, oh, yeah, no smooth jazz, by the way. So la -dee day is another fun holiday. You go and you talk to a villager, and they string together a bunch of literally random notes, and then ask you if you want it to be your new town tune. Some of them I don't think actually ask you and just do it anyway. That's the holiday. Moving on. <laughs> Apple a day keeps the doctor away. An onion a day keeps everyone away. This is These are getting real deep, but also I don't have any cool messages from the past. And that makes me sad. Oh man, recycling bin. I kind of vaguely remember this. They get kind of replaced with like trash cans and such in later games. Um, what up? The Civic Center. Oh yeah, from the time before Isabel existing. The environment, how is it? Someone who'd rather remain nameless. I bet anything it was Rosie. <laughs> What's up with this town? Everything I see looks terrible. Maybe we need to get rid of some weeds. And by we, I of course mean exclusively you, because no one else will bother touching them. 
Uh, donations. The town of Boondocks. I wonder how much I've donated. Does it actually say? Like, here, I'm gonna donate eight whole bells. <laughs> here you go! <gasps> the average household has two cars now! Cool. That sounds pretty good, actually. Out of curiosity, like, can somebody look up uh, Boondocks donation tiers? I'm just kind of curious what I sh what I'm at right now. Like, if nobody does, I can look it up later myself. But I. Like, to me, that sounds like uh, it's pretty up there. Pay mortgage. Wait. Did I not pay off the entire thing? Really? How is it that I've not paid off the entire thing? Man, I don't have that much money, turns out. Huh. Was grinding money in this game a thing? Because I, I don't remember, admittedly. Then again, I've also donated so much money to Boondocks. <laughs> Do I have anything in saved letters? Of course I do. From Coco. Are these all moving away letters? I kind of gathered that. Maple, Limburg, Punchy, Opal, Frobert, Blair, Tipper, Alice, Gas, and Amelia. Q I had Cube. I forgot Cube was even in a game past the GameCube version. Because I, I think he's just one of those animals that didn't really transition. I got this one letter over here. <laughs> Boondocks! That's relevant to my interests. Aw, oh, yeah! I saved someone's pet turtle! Yay! <laughs> yeah, sure, whatever. I mean, if you want to post the list in, like, LPIA chat or something. Um. But I, I really only need to know, like, what tier I'm at. I, I guess, technically speaking, if I look at my catalog, I can figure it out because, you know, you're awarded, like, feathers based on your Boondocks donation total. The origin story of Satan Turtle. Yeah, I'd believe it. Oh yeah, I forgot, the Able Sisters and Nooks are just side by side in this game. I forgot that was a thing. Welcome to the Able Sisters, where you can look at my super rad patterns. Admittedly, I probably just have them here and I haven't looked at them yet. The heck is this skull pattern? I don't understand, all right. Band 8. I mean, that looks kind of neat, I guess. Here's my logo. It's the old logo, so that's cool. Color Ominos! Yeah. Blue Maz. Blue Mod Top. Green Scratch. Firebolt! I kind of dig the firebolt a little bit, actually. I feel like I don't... I, I, I don't think I made the skull. Like, I'm pretty sure I probably got that from a friend at some point. I kind of dig this blue maze also, because from the looks of it, it does look like it wraps around in loops.
Band 8 isn't solid black. It has my logo on it. It's just kind of a little hard to see <laughs> in the uh, the game's resolution. Logo tile. Oh yeah, this is also the start of them selling the uh, the clothing items at Able Sisters instead. Faded. Man, I donated like a freaking million some bells to Boondocks. Like freaking Rain Tree Bow. What kind of name is that? Once again, really digging rainbows for some reason. I don't get it. I mean, to be fair, when you're making patterns, there is one that just... Like, one of the color palettes just has all of the colors in it. So, it's just like, I don't know, let's just do that. Why not? <laughs> Gotta use every color. It's important. Alright, Nook Town... That's not your name, actually. Well, there's a letter in a bottle. Oh, that's right! Shampoodle is in this game! I forgot. Also, the stopwatch is in this game, but who cares about that? What's my catalog looking like? This isn't the catalog, actually. Silver! Aw, oh, yeah! Yeah, losing the song with meowing is a bit sad. Turnip prices. That sounds not as good. But I'm sure I'll get a spike for real. So this game got rid of the password trading system because it was kind of unnecessary since the internet exists. This catalog is tailored to my own personal buying habits, and by that, I of course mean it lists everything you have ever owned. Oh, that's right, it just straight up shows you how many out of how many in this game. That's interesting. Wow, I'm missing three umbrellas? Rad! All right, where's the uh, the feathers at? Yeah, I got all the way up to the white feather. Not selling, can't buy it. Oops, I didn't mean to actually leave, technically speaking. Oh yeah, I haven't even pointed out, this game introduces hats. It's gonna be a bit before we introduce pants. I'm missing one piece of paper. The saddest of days. All my viewers are babies. That's probably inaccurate. Boondopolis! <laughs> Do my hair! I'm willing to bet I have bedhead under this hat. This game introduced bedhead, right? Boontopia. Get, get in the chair, please. All right then, I'll need to take these things off your head to get started. Also, no, there is no bedhead in this game. Which is weird. Aw oh, yeah, I unlocked female haircuts. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Do I want, do I want a more feminine style?
I'm trying to remember, you unlock this by like a certain number of hairdos or you just get all of them, I think. Like all of your your gender's haircuts and then it's just like, oh, you can get all the rest now. Well, I see two people saying do it and one person saying nah. So I, I guess majority rules. Open mind. What do I envision? Hmm. Do I want every day or big nights? Big nights. Sure. You want to look your best for important occasions. Am I the toast of every party? Do I literally go in the toaster and pop out? Bam! I'm toast. It's true. She was asking you. Harriet knew. Someday in the future. <laughs> To be honest, I kind of hope um, New Horizons does something different with this. I like the ability to change the hairstyle and everything. I just kind of wish it wasn't so vague. Oh, I can just hold down and randomize it. Oh yeah! If your ideal hairstyle were a song. <laughs> Yet to be honest, um, oh man, Rockhawk. <laughs> Fun loving type. That's me. Yeah, making a character at the beginning would be nice. I think Pocket Camp does that. Like, it kind of ditches the whole questions thing. What kind of hair does my true self have? Exactly! I don't even know what I clicked. I wasn't looking. <laughs> I'm surprised I managed to go to the other menu. Just hold still for a bit while I engulf your head in this machine. I have white hair now. My eyes will sparkle now. Cool. I'm gonna put this hat back on, though. <laughs> it looks awful. It looks like someone sprayed whipped cream on my head. Items for my house house. Look at all these items for my house house. <laughs> Goodbye, Timmy. Alright, well, what else is there to look at? Oh no, Pearl is gone. I can't believe it. Well, I mean, I didn't actually look at my house. So that's something. Oh yeah, turnips and tables. Get excited. I'm so used to the X button opening inventory. Yep, that, okay, yep. These have not rotted 
for all these years because this game is well programmed. <laughs> what? No. I don't want to put it on the ground. No. They'll spoil if they're on the ground. I don't remember controls for this game, turns out. Okay, do I have to, like, put something on the ground to place this on the table? I guess. Alright, uh... Oh, oh, sure, okay. I can put the fossil on the table, but not what I want. Man, touchscreen is not working the best. Yeah, no, this was a glitch in the game where if you put turnips on tables, uh, they don't spoil. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know... Man, look at all these four-leaf clovers. I have feathers in here, too. That birthday cake has been burning for years. I'm surprised I have all these turnips. Not gonna lie. Man, I have even more turnips! Look at all these things! They're everywhere! Look at all these people sleeping in my attic! What the heck is this? So, do I have a room over there? I do, but I can't get to I mean, I doubt I have anything in it. Oh man, I got pictures of dudes. Rolls pick. I'm not waddling, I'm working my glutes. Yeah, I'd imagine it's more turnips. Why do I have these arranged like this so I can't even look at the ones in the back? Opal's pick. Now whenever you see this picture of me, you can think warm thoughts instead of cold ones. I'm feeling kind of blank today. <laughs> yeah. I get, I feel that. I'm trying out a new ear style here. You never use the turnip glitch? Yeah, I mean, you don't have to use the turnip glitch, though. I'm sure there is some form of money grinding in this game. Let's see if I can puzzle out getting to the secret room in the corner. I mean, I absolutely can get to the secret money room in the corner. I just have to rearrange a bit. To be honest, I don't really... Oh, okay. I'm willing to bet because there's nothing in here or there is something in here. I don't know what. It is, in fact, more turnips. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's hilarious, actually. Yep. That's a room full of turnips. Is this a full-size room? I don't think it is. I don't... Th well, okay, first off, I don't have a basement. I'm pretty sure this game does have a basement. I never paid off my entire house in this game, and that's just weird to me. I, yes, I have a golden axe. Alfin would be pleased, no doubt. Alright, well, I wasn't expecting um, turnip storage as my house. <laughs> Turns out. Sup, bird? You know there's a guy in this town that has a, a, a caged bird? I don't know. Cool off your brain, dude. Hmm. 
I mean, maybe. I've been visiting a lot of towns lately. It's working out pretty good for me. Are there any other locations in town I haven't, like, been to? I actually don't remember. It doesn't really look like it, actually, because my house is just up there. I mean, I haven't been to the main gate, but there's not really anything there. I mean, there is, but there isn't. It's Booker! What's new, Booker? Man, I'm getting, uh, mild nostalgia with this song. We definitely have ten. Oh gosh, I can't even hold all of those. Oh man, night sky paper and night sky tea? It's fate. You've claimed quite a few items, and by quite a few, I of course mean two. What is the flag right now? I, 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 I didn't even look. It's probably my logo. I'm willing to bet anything it's my logo. Uh, invite guests. Nintendo WFC! Oh, DS to DS, because that's the only thing that's going to actually work. Okay. Open the gate. Neat. No one will find this DS. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's my logo. I mean, that's the old logo, but you know how it is. Mr. Watch is here to tell me that my, my clock is two minutes behind. And then everybody in the chat is like, No game guy, you are X amount of minutes behind or ahead. Idiot. I have the one true time that exists. No other times are valid. I don't remember this town layout, like, at all, for the record. Like, it's kind of weird. Oops, I wanted to go to map. Somehow I went to patterns instead. That's some pretty decent bridge placement, but I kind of wish there was one, like, next to the, the little pond here. I don't remember if this game allows you to get a third bridge or not. I don't think it does, actually. Hello, big fish. Is that a snowflake? Sweet. Ah, fart. <laughs> I... My brain does that thing where sometimes it's like, I'm willing to bet anything it bit down on the bobber now. It didn't. You didn't get... Or you don't get a third bridge? Rip. Well, I missed a big fish. 
Could that have been a silicanth? Because, like, I know they appear during precipitation, but I think it had spawned before it started snowing, so... I'm not sure what that would have been. Maybe it was a shark. I forget. Can I... Ah, oh, that's right. This game introduced saving wherever you want. It's super nice. Man, I'm so spoiled by New Leaf and its quick equipment switching. <laughs> I gotta go to the menu if I want to switch stuff. Yo, gyroid time! I did it. Yeah, so this is this is a uh, wild world, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't have a lot to say about Wild World. It was a neat game for what it was, but like... I don't know. I think it was limited quite a bit by being on the DS. That said, obviously people were real into uh, portable Animal Crossing. It's a game that works pretty well in a portable, and um, you know... Probably why it's going to be neat on the Switch, because, you know, it's a bit of a hybrid console thing. Ugh. I mean, I remember playing this game a lot when it came out, but I just don't remember a whole lot of it. Like, I have all these friends on my friend list, and I, I don't know how many of them I actually interacted with. I don't know. Game's wild, yo. <laughs> anyway, I should probably go back to my turnip house so I can sleep. Because, yeah, you can save anywhere, but I believe you can also save if you just go back to bed. Where? Where are all my friends? Where did all of my friends go? Oh, okay, you know what? I have wireless communications active right now, so they don't show up, I guess? Can't actually go into this bed. Do you want to quit playing? Why is the little wireless symbol coming back for... What was the point? I probably won't. I, I'm sorry to say. Ugh, that frame rate is mildly disgusting. <laughs> ah. I'm trying to remember if they did anything interesting with, like, other stuff, though. Because I know the holidays got neutered. Um... I don't remember what they did with Gracie. Did she still have a car? Probably. Um. I know they changed how Red works in that he shows up on a week to week basis. I know Lyle had something to do with it and he was another character that was added in this game. I don't know, I don't really remember a lot about this game. It should be said. Anyway, uh, computer noise. I don't know if it actually computer noised. Because I'm actually switching games. Eventually, I'm waiting for my 3DS to decide it wants to actually turn off. 
Okay, well, it's it's taking its sweet time for some reason. There, there it goes. <laughs> Finally! Hold on. I'm doing things. Oh, yeah, Katie and Caitlin were in the game. That is, in fact, a thing. No signal! Do I have a nunchuck anywhere nearby? Don't I need a nunchuck for this game? City folk, by the way. Uh, work doesn't exist because I'm technically speaking on vacation right now. Not actually, but it's close enough. I found my nunchuck. I did it. We in there. Freaking twelve in the morning. Uh all right, here's the fun thing. I am absolutely gonna need the sensor bar for this game. I forgot I apparently have to actually plug that in. Um, I played significantly more city folk than I did Wild World. I got this rad bag behind me that I keep running into. It's great. I don't know why it's even here, admittedly. Let's fix that time so it's something a bit more reasonable. I usually like to just kind of invert it. That way the time is accurate, even if it's AM instead of PM. Also, it's still the next day somehow. Yeah. Animal Crossing City Folk came out, and let me tell you, this one was my jam. Remember We Safety Guy? I remember a campaign seeing people wanting to get him in Smash. And you know what? I wish it happened. Oh yeah, I was super clever and I had paths in this game that are Mario. There's my cursor. <laughs> oh yeah, Rover comes back in this game. You know, it just occurred to me, I was all hyped up about the, um... The, the message in a bottle, and I didn't even explain what those are. Because they were exclusive to, um, Wild World, actually. Speaking of, I should probably change the game.
There we go. Blue Bear's neat. Uh, the messages in a bottle were neat because they were basically letters. Like you could type whatever you want, throw it in a bottle, and then send it up to sea. And then like people on your friends list, anybody you pass by while your DS is set to tag mode, because Street Pass hadn't been invented yet, and um, sometimes just literally random people online, like you can send your letter to them. Like, they'll find it on their beach. You can attach items to it and everything. It was a neat idea. And, like, I just kind of wish it came back. I feel like Nintendo is just too afraid of the fact that since you could type literally anything on your letter... Um... You know... What the heck is DS Suitcase? I don't even know what that is. No. <laughs> I love the AC series also. <laughs> we connect 24. Am I right? What are the text settings? Oh, keyboard, please. <laughs> New follower, yeah! What's the menu stuff? Uh, sure. Wow, there's so many options. <laughs> ah, okay. This time, they're all me in some way or another. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> What's a Yuga Mag? Wow, it's been a while. Yeah, it, it sure has. By the way, I had a really good name for this place. Anyway. <laughs> Th this is what happens when, you know, you don't think about what to name your town and then all of a sudden it's like, hey, name it. I pronounce it place. This game had bedhead, that's for sure. The heck am I wearing? 2012? What is going on? Yo, check out this mail that I have. All right, Pee Wee is somewhere. Okay, goodbye, Pee Wee, I'll miss you. Look at all of these bells I earned. So, I think... This was the game where I started using, um... Yeah, decorating service. Lyle's great. I started using letters as, like, equipment storage. I don't know why there's nothing in them right now. What's this thank you card about? Oh, man, it's Lost Girl. Oh, that's right, there is New Year's shirt. Uh, those were things that existed, I guess. My room earned very many points. <laughs> Dora's exploring. I can't believe Dora is exploring, uh, this place. Cool. I got an invitation to Crazy Red. Oops, I opened the menu on accident. Why do I have, like, nothing? Something I will say that is a problem with this game uh, loading. Like, first off, everything takes so long to load. Like, dude, you remember the original Animal Crossing and even Wild World? Like, you'd enter a building, and then, like, bam, you're there. 
Uh, this game takes a while to load things. Yo, a GameCube. Sick. Yeah. How come the garden gnome doesn't make a sound? How come the tarantula doesn't make a sound? Button! The world will now explode! The GameCube is a drawer! <laughs> I forgot the GameCube was a drawer. <laughs> Uh, that's funny for some reason. <laughs> I was just clicking on it to see if it made a sound because I forgot. Oh man, my work uniform. Yeah, I got the gold card. I'm pretty sure... Okay, so the gold card was neat because it allowed you to, um... Purchase things over the bell, like the inventory bell limit using money in your bank account. I forget how you get it, but the gold card in particular also gives you a discount at Gracie Grace. I think that's how it works. It's true, Animal Crossing was completely loaded in RAM. I know this because I believe there was one instant when I was a kid where... I was playing Animal Crossing and somehow the GameCube fell off of a shelf, the disc tray popped open and the disc flew out. But the game was still running. Com completely unhindered. Like nothing even happened. <laughs> Empty lamp. Ski mask. Look at all these things that I have. Old carpets and such. There's my original shopping card. I got sparklers and stuff. There's some fruit. I don't know why that's there. I guess just in case I need it. I, I would guess these are real paintings. For the purposes of trading with friends, maybe. Probably, uh, these are, these are no doubt Sahara carpets and such. There's another lamp for some reason. This game introduced silver equipment, which is, like, slightly better than regular equipment and a lot less difficult to obtain. In most cases. <laughs> I'm trying to remember exactly, because, like... Maybe I'm just thinking of New Leaf. There was at least one piece of equipment in New Leaf where the silver one was way harder to get than the gold. It might have actually been the shovel. I might be thinking of this game, though. I don't remember. It's weird. I just have a Christmas tree in my basement. Silver axe. I mean, again, I don't remember, so... Oh, man, I have a tarantula and a scorpion. Oops. How did I manage that? Oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted inventory. Put that back. I think this game also introduced a shared inventory in the drawer. I don't remember if City Folk, or not City Folk, if Wild World had that. I think it did, but I never found a drawer to access, so... I, I kind of wonder what was actually in my drawers. I killed all the bugs. Everything is all better. There's my bed. Hi, Rover. How did you get this number? <laughs> Flag design. Oh, that's right, there are pro there's pro patterns in this game. 
I forgot. Game guy. Why did I capitalize it? That's not how I write my name. Gosh, past self. Overblock, underblock, aqua block, castle block, another castle. That's that's admittedly a clever name. I like it. Anyway. Oh yeah, Silver Axe was in the island shop. That's that's correct. Oh dude, you know what? I just remembered this game. Um getting the gold and silver axe is stupid. <laughs> I don't remember the details on it. I just remember it being very stupid. I had to do something with the wishing well. Or not the well We'll see, because I know exactly where it is, because it's always in the same place. That said, this game introduced, pa like, patterns you could put on the ground, but it also introduced grassware. A feature that everybody loves. I can't interact with this? I thought I could. It's weird. Yeah, you have to throw an axe into the fountain, and then some random stuff happens. And maybe, if you're lucky, uh, you'll you'll get a silver or gold axe. Yeah, I know, it's great. Gone are the days of terrible frame rate. <laughs> Wait, why is the art over here? Usually fossils are over here. That's what I was expecting to find. This room is huge, by the way. There's another room also. Wow, they needed to put chains in front of the Mona Lisa. For some reason? But none of the other paintings... They're not important enough to deserve a chain guardrail. <laughs> yeah, they put chains there so no one would eat it, you're right. How foolish of me. I no doubt got all of the fossils, because I played this game a heck of a lot more than I played Wild World, so... I'd be extremely surprised if I did not get all of them. This place has a rad balcony and everything. I don't I like the design of this little museum area. It's neat. I mean, it might still be live. I don't know how long I'm gonna go, actually. Yeah, I do remember the chances of getting the axes are really low. I actually wonder if I have all of the fish and such in this game. Bugs and fish! There's a- there's a dot there for some reason. Does that mean I didn't catch something? Sure does! I wonder what that is! There's a tarantula! The tails are extensions of their stomachs? That's weird. Bugs are weird, guys. Can somebody do me a favor and look up the bug that's between Ladybug and Longhorn Beetle? I'm just curious what I'm missing here. I'm not missing any fish, though, it looks like. Neat. 
I was on point today. Violin beetle. Is that one of the ones that is on the stumps? I think. Oh my gosh, this we this me mask really? Do I still have this me? Yeah, buddy. Not explaining the joke. <laughs> Anyone care to guess what the name of this me is? Go ahead, you won't. <laughs> Look at all the bugs in the world. Well, there's the, the tarantula and the scorpion eternally duking it out. Ah, but this time we have these two beetles fighting each other eternally also. Like, they kind of clash with each other over time. And then, like... One of them wins at random. They, they take a while to get back in position, though, turns out. Dang, Mosquito! Go away! I'm busy! There they go. I think that's the Hercules beetle and the gold beetle. Uh-oh, Hercules beetle about to lose again. Got him. Yo, check out that gigantic dragonfly. It's great. Fruit beetle? I feel like fruit beetle is unlikely because I think that's a common bug that's on a flower. Anyway, this game also has constellations. I didn't even make note of what my town tune is. You're adorable in this game, not cute. Got him. Stargazing, I can also erase constellations. Entire galaxies shall be deleted. Yeah, don't tell Kirby. Well, there's my logo again. It's much bigger this time. Little fish. Big fish. Okay, see, I kind of like this a little bit. Because I kind of just made better constellations this time around. <laughs> Star Road. Alright, that's, that's less cool, I guess. It's just kind of a long line at the bottom. Metroid! <laughs> LOL. <laughs> uh, left 8. Middle eight, right eight. <laughs> All right, I did a bit. Well, you have more space for constellations in this game. So I, I, I guess I just had a bit more fun with it. A star? That's stupid. Moon, bow, sand dollar. Oh yeah, pan, 
That's freaking the stupid dipper again, idiot. There's the triumph fork, finally. I was waiting for that. I knew it was there. Yeah, they give you a ton of space in this game. There's also a lot of like empty space around here, but it's fine. I like big fish and little fish for some reason. Anyway, this me, uh, I made this me, uh, for Mario Kart Wii. Uh, I named him Loser, and my goal was to intentionally play badly. I don't know why he is my me mask in this game. <laughs> Eight, eight, eight. Well, these are pro designs. What's on, um... What's on the other ones? Out of curiosity. Oh, there's a little axe on the sleeve. That's cute, I guess. For lack of a better word. I don't know what time the 8 constellation appears, but I hope it appears on August 8th, 2008. Or at least August. I'll accept August. That design doesn't even need to be a pro design. Uh, neither does that one. Well, okay, I get it, because this is just one question mark instead of a tile of four. So that technically counts. I'm imagining these are probably the same. Ish? You ever just want to wear a Mario block? Why are these the only patterns I have? Like, that's just mildly weird. Yeah, I'm wearing a New Year's shirt, alright. Nothing to remove! That's factually incorrect. Why is my inventory just so empty for some reason? That's weird, isn't it? Yo, it's Al! Do you now? Oh, that's right! Uh, Brewster is also a gyroid storage in this game. I forgot that that's a thing. Can I take this me hat off? There it is. Okay, cool. I have emotions in this game, but now they're much easier to access. Yeah. Fart. Photos? Oh, yeah! There's a photo thing in this game! Who are my friends? What does this mean? Oh, he likes math, guys. That's a name that I recognize. That's also a name that I recognize. There's a lot of names that I recognize in this game. Too much Pav. Pave? I've never been sure how to pronounce that. That's someone. Also someone. Also someone. Look at all these peeps. Look out! Here I am! Too many peaches. Waffles. I agree. I don't know who some of these people are. Alright guys, here's my friend code. Who's ready to add me on the Wii? <laughs> Mic chat! On. Use. Don't use, actually. Let's turn that volume all the way up so we can hear spe people speaking. Remember we speak? Anyway. <laughs> Yeah! This Brewster also knows my usual. Yeah. 
Enjoy! I love that it's got a cool is always an option, and if you choose it ever, Brewster gets really mad. As you do. All right, well, that was the, the museum, I guess. All right, gotta follow the paths because otherwise I'll be mad at my past self. There's a sick mushroom here though. That's fun. Beer steak? Yo, this was during that time. <laughs> Who remembers beer steak? <laughs> Almost as good as milk steak? I don't know about that. Hey guys, it's Nacho. <laughs> Well, we're officially playing a game that coincides with the LP era. <laughs> By accident, almost. Man, this house sure doesn't have a whole lot in it. Look, there's another version of me sleeping in this bed. That's weird. Whose house is this? I actually didn't even look. I, mean, I guess I'm gonna have to look at the map. That's good guy. That's Bla bear. That one's my house. Who the heck lives behind me? Monique, we're about to have some issues. Why you live behind me? Why do you gotta do- Monique! What up? I'm Super A! <laughs> We're going back to the Project Prologue teases over here. <laughs> Moving on to Super Project Prologue. Sorry, I, I, I forgot about the compliment quota. I thought we got rid of Yay Day, because nobody actually liked it, but, you know. That's right, I have Nook and Go in this game, because this game allows you to actually backtrack to other Nook buildings, if you desire, which is kind of neat. Like, basically, once you get Nookingtons... Nook will randomly be, like, deep in thought when you enter the store. And he'll be like, man, I'm thinking about changing the store up. And, like, the advantage of Nook and Go in particular is that it's open significantly later than uh, the other ones. But it is Nookington, so it has less items. That said, it was more useful for me because I... You know, a place to sell stuff, mostly. They kind of did away with this in uh, New Leaf because they had town ordinances and whatnot. To be fair, I'm not the hugest fan of how ordinances are implemented because I really wish you could have multiple. It's kind of silly that you... I mean, I understand, like... Things being open later versus things being open earlier being kind of opposites and whatnot. Exchange present. What is, what is even the... Oh, okay. I can trade my points for things, I guess. I can get Majora's Mask for 6,000 points. I can get Standard Cart, but no Mario. Visitor points. Yeah! 
I did it. What are the turnip prices, friend? Wow, that's even worse than Del Sano. What does my catalog look like? Ah, oh, but this game doesn't tell you how many out of how many you have. In fact, it doesn't tell me how many I have at all. Egg TV. I can buy the egg TV. Man, the, the cursor doesn't like the edge of the screen. We still haven't gotten to the point where we, where we all are allowed to have more than just hats. We still are not allowed to have pants. We're just stuck with these dark shorts for the rest of eternity. Does this game have shoes, actually? I think this game has shoes. I don't remember if Wild World had shoes. Nothing to remove. Oh no, you know what it was? This game doesn't have shoes. You could change your shoe color, though. That's a thing. Yeah, I always had Beautiful Town Ordinance after a while. Uh, Bell Boom kind of has its uses, though. Oh, there's a mushroom. Nice. I got the mushroom. Wow, I can look up. I did it. What? That was weird. You guys saw the screen flicker, right? Because uh, my TV just straight up turned off for a second. That was weird. <laughs> oh, this is neat. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, come on. Come on. That's clever. I like that, actually. It's Wendy. She just moved to place five minutes ago. How convenient that I started the game up exactly at this point after having not been here for years. <laughs> That's awful convenient there. Another fan. That's me. So you might notice I don't run very much in this game. Also, there's significantly less weeds in this game as a whole. I've noticed. Yeah, you don't want to run because that just promotes grassware. Grassware was real bad in this game, actually, because if you look at like the path, like the underneath of the path, that's pretty much all worn out. Bud's house. Like, I, I like the idea of grassware, but there really just needs to be a way to combat it. And there just isn't. Like, the only thing you can do is you can, like, plant flowers on weird ground and the grass will, glow, like, grow back slightly quicker. But only slightly. It's kind of weird. Like, they toned it down quite a bit in New Leaf, but it's still sort of a problem. To the point where I just, I really wish all they needed to do is, like, add some sort of grass seed or, like, fertilizer that affects grass or something. Oh yeah, this game actually shows me new messages. Oh man, it was Wolfgang's birthday yesterday. It would be today, if not for the fact that for some reason my clock is a day ahead. I don't know what that's about. There's a fishing tourney. 2012? Why was I playing this game in 2012? That doesn't feel right. I mean, obviously I did. Yo, there's an R-Wing? Nice. 
Actually, no, hold on. This makes sense. When did New Leaf come out? Because, uh, I might have, like, just popped this game in before New Leaf came out and just to see, you know, what it looks like. Bank of Nintendo plus a branch ABD. How much money do I got? My balance is zero bells for some reason. Why do I just have no money? Like actually what happened? I just realized what my town tune is. <laughs> Oh, that's silly. <laughs> the town fund? I'm gonna donate eight! Stock market crash of 2012. Did anybody, can anybody guess what the town tune is? I'm not gonna outright say what it is. Not yet, anyway. It's not a passing grade, it's not a failing grade either. I'd give it a D plus, maybe a C minus on a good day. Not enough greenery. You know, I bet I chopped down a bunch of trees because the amount of trees the game wants you to have for perfect town status is kind of ridiculous. I'm locked out? What does that even mean? What kind of fail-safe is this? What did- I- Hold on. I'm... I'm trying to think about how this could ever be an issue. What... What is the situation in which you can't get into your house? How does one, like, trigger this? Because the, the thing I'm thinking of here is no matter what you do, you always have access to the recycling bin at minimum. Which means you can't, like, fill up your inventory and then drop an item in every single square of town. So there's no place to drop anything. Or and you can't pick anything up. Because you can always just get rid of stuff with a recycling bin in, in the most extreme circumstance here. So I'm trying to think of what the reason for such a failsafe is. That's so weird. I know the 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 residence thing is um something. Someone else. You can basically like tell villagers to shut up and, and revert their um their phrases and such to default. Uh, cause again, uh, you're not limited in what you can actually type in there, so anybody that moves from a different town saying naughty things could just come right on in. But it's okay, cause you can delete their, their mind and revert them back to normal. That's how it works. Do I have any saved letters? I gotta look at all these. We message board! Yeah, buddy! <laughs> Do I not have any saved mail? 
Are we are we actually serious? None? That is hyper weird. What up with that? Oh yeah, email. The what? <laughs> what? <laughs> when you send a message to other devices, it might get corrupted. <laughs> It's a feature. <laughs> All right, that's weird. Pelly, you're weird. All right, let's see. What else do I got to look at today? In this glorious day. There's Blue Bear. It's Super A. Uh, I was turning over a new leaf. <laughs> yes, that's what I've been doing. <laughs> Hiding in my house, eating cookies or whatever. <laughs> but in... Sh Chevry? Is that how you say that? I'm not actually sure. You're not supposed to talk about it anymore, and yet you did it anyway. Good job, Blue Bear. You did it. I'm afraid to press B to run on any of these tiles. Wolfgang, I did not see you. You blend in so perfectly with the underblocks. Oh no! Wolfgang dropped his house key! I have a new quest. I have to find Wolfgang's house key. I don't remember how this works, actually. Do I just find it on the ground? Because I have vague memories of it maybe being, like, buried or... I have to fish it out, maybe? I don't remember. But I also don't have a fishing rod for some reason. Yo, it's Curly. He's a pig! That's the joke. Oh no, Curly is sad! Medicine? Oh no, now we gotta get Curly some medicine? I wasn't, like, I wasn't ready for this deep drama that we have going on here. This is, this is something. I can't believe this. Can't believe what we've been reduced to in this day and age. There's another mushroom here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get all these mushrooms. Wasn't there something to do with the mushroom? Al lives here. By the way. Wendy lives here. Did I already see Wendy? I think I saw Wendy. I don't actually remember. Whose house is this with the 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 gray block? Hmm. <laughs> I love so much. You can just fire bullets. It's great. What was that? What does that do? I mean, everybody has a room like that. To be fair. Man, this is just straight up the Nintendo item room, by the way. It's the Wiimote closet!
Uh oh, they're out of sync. This sounds pretty rad, actually. <laughs> Dogs! Okay, listen, I like how I have this Jester's Mask here, but it's not even, technically speaking, an item that belongs here. Oh, the Mario Kart doesn't do anything. Neither do the shells. Disappointment. Okay, but Dementio's face is already like a generic jester mask, so... I distinctly remember this. I wanted to get a bunch of coins and like this whole cloud background. And I was going to make my attic coin heaven. It was going to be hilarious, but I only ever found two coins. Rip. Like, the Mario items are super neat, but I feel like the problem with them is that they're so neat, everybody has them. And they just kind of lose their appeal real quickly. Nice bed hair, nerd! Yeah, you're right. Oh man, I had a, a water bridge pattern. It was probably made by somebody else, admittedly. Does anybody remember how the lost key works? Because if it's going to require me to fish, I don't think I'm going to be helping very much. Uh, my house is as big as it can get, so um, I'm not that jealous, turns out. Mr. Watch might be jealous, though. A basement! I gotta see the basement in Yuga Mag's house. Uh oh. I can't see much of anything in Yuga Mag's house. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Welcome to the void. <laughs> Do you guys like the void? I sure love the void. There's the- there's the void tarantula. <laughs> what villagers did I have in Wild World? Uh, some of them? I'm- I already kind of forgot. <laughs> oh, it does need the fishing rod? I thought I vaguely remembered needing the fishing rod, so, uh, rip. I don't know why I don't have any equipment. On me. I mean, I have some in my drawer storage, I guess. What's the map? Cause I feel like I didn't go this way. Yeah, I never saw a walker. Yeah, I never went to, like, this area. Well, I did, because I went to Town Hall briefly, but... Very briefly. Alright. Well, uh, my current... Oh, hold up. I thought it was just a mushroom, but it was really a mush table. Sick. <laughs> you heard a flea? Neat. Uh, I didn't. So... I mean, I don't need the mush table. It's not like I'm really gonna play this game again, so what difference does it make? Uh, I'm pretty sure I had a fishing rod in here somewhere. I, you know what happened? I probably gave a lot of my stuff to a different character. 
If I had to guess... To be honest, uh, I like that it reuses the songs from Wild World, because I didn't care too much for Wild World. <laughs> like, I know this game is practically Wild World, but bigger. But I mean, I think that's fine. I, I played the heck out of this game anyway, compared to Wild World. I played Wild World a lot. But nowhere near, I, just, I didn't even see that. Uh, nowhere near as much as, like, all of the other Animal Crossings. No one has guessed my town tune yet. Wow, immediately biting down. Carpe diem. Oh, sorry, wrong carp. Yeah, I like this. I haven't heard this soundtrack in a long time, actually. I'm just gonna get all the small fish, cause keys are small, right? Oh, that's right! I can do motion controls in this game. You can flick the Wiimote up. That's what I did just now. <laughs> See, alright. People get... What the heck is this nonsense? Hey, a golden shovel! <laughs> this game has item switching. We did it. <laughs> well, this isn't 1 p.m. So, can't help you there. Walker's house. He's not here, though. Where is he? Have we seen Walker yet? I feel like no. I found your key. It's a bit wet. People going something and I lost my train of thought. You're right. I don't even remember losing my train of thought. That's how lost it was. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, do that. It's fine. Phone box? I love phone boxes, LOL. Man, now I don't remember what I was gonna say. Because clearly I was gonna say something. But the fact that I don't remember wanting to say something is bothering me. <laughs> Yo, is that a sick UFO? I don't have a slingshot on me, but dude... Oops. Y'all heard that, right? We we're talking about the music. Yeah, I'm real glad in, um... 
New Leaf, they made the Y button a run button that doesn't pick things up. <laughs> Well, the accident that happened was a new game came out. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Dude, the UFO is super, like, stupid rare. And, like, I swear I've heard it in both games. <laughs> Cause I still feel like I heard it when we were doing Wild World, but I never saw it. But that's just it, like the UFOs are like super rare for like no reason. I, I don't like that style of Gulliver, by the way. I want to sell! Invite card, huh? Well, I don't need that. Just get some money. I don't think I'm gonna need it for much, but you never know. G-Volt is home! Should have brought a, uh, bought a slingshot, but I already have one, so I guess I can just go get it on the off chance I hear that UFO again. Because I know it shows up, like, multiple times per day. That said, I don't, like, even if I shoot it down now, I think it doesn't even really show up until a few days later. But still. <laughs> I really probably don't need the shovel. Let's just, uh, cut that out of the equation. Yeah, no, honestly, at this point, I'm not playing an Animal Crossing game in earnest. There's not really a point until New Horizons comes out. Because that will just absorb my life force. Did I have anywhere to look? I mean, I wanted to, um... I can't get over the fact that I have a beer steak pattern. Uh, display on ground. I fixed it. Aw, yeah. Interruptions at midnight. Oh, yeah. Where was I? <laughs> something, something. I think Curly was dying. All right, Curly, I'm here to beat your door down with a fishing pot. Fishing pod? A fishing pod. <laughs> DJ A! Oh, you're making me actually select it? I didn't ever care much for how animals can get sick and then you're just kind of locked out of talking to them for several days in a row whether you give them medicine or not. 
I feel like New Leaf made it so that if you give a sick animal medicine, they're like better immediately. Or at least you can talk to them normally. I think that's a thing. Well, time to go to the city. Because that's what this game is about. The city. Apparently my flag is Nacho. I didn't even notice that. Anyway, here's Captain driving a bus. Have I? It's been years. Then why are you driving a bus? Welcome to the city, everybody! Vroom vroom! I thought you were Blue Bear for a second and I was about to be real confused. Alright, so in the city we got Katrina. I like having access to Katrina at all times. This is like the only game that does it. Technically, um... Technically New Leaf does, but you have to unlock it and it takes forever. The charm. Ah! Oh, what? This is such a weird mechanic, and I don't remember it at all. <laughs> bad times are times that are bad. Oh, animals just don't get sick anymore in the update? Bad times are just... Da -da -da -da. <laughs> oh. I can't even get a fortune for myself. Lame. At least not until tomorrow, I guess. Anyway, Shampoodles is here. Your shop is inverted this time. Total makeover! Hairstyle's fine. Glad I sold all those mushrooms. <laughs> Curse those cones. Yeah, I know. I had to look. <laughs> oh man, I unlocked girl hairstyles here too. Cut it out! All of my hair! That's what I was referring to. Why am I so wildly aggressive at the thought of having a female hairstyle? Like, that- I wasn't the first game, like... No thanks versus... R really? 
And in this game, it's like, CUT IT OUT! Uh, crazy. I don't know. Talent agencies? I mean, no. You think I have talent? I, sure, happenings. Happenings happen. Sure. Hair color? Something cool. Uh, fresh. I do have bedhead. I'm blue now. Anyway. <laughs> I mean, at least, um, unlocking it is easy enough. Oh man, remember the auction house? Man, the auction house is such a neat idea, it's too bad, uh, it literally can't be used anymore. <laughs> I mean, maybe it can, if you, like, mod your Wii or something. Gracie Grace introduced in this game, it's expensive. Uh-oh, there's a sale going on. This place looks like my house. I mean, yeah, custom servers, probably. Uh, I haven't noticed. You have a horse head. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> uh, this is the HRA. We finally get to go here now. It's Lyle! <laughs> he works here. <laughs> Dude, alright, we didn't see it in Wild World, but this guy was introduced there, and he just kind of, like, stalks you every... Saturday? Like, he just waits outside your house and then follows you as long as you don't get too far away from him. And he just hangs out by your house all day. And he's all like, Hey, buddy, you want to get in on this crazy red action? Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. It's totally not illegal. Probably. Uh, the model room. Bang! It's the room that had the most grown-up feel. Wow. I won! Modern bed. Oh no, not his chops. Alright, well, Lyle did his happy dance. Lyle ain't going nowheres. Yeah, buy my insurance. Pay me a thousand bells so that I pay you a hundred bells every time you trip. 
This room looks familiar. Modern dresser. Gold roses. Scorpion! <laughs> I forgot all about the insurance thing, actually. Oh, okay, fine. 800 bells? Man, I'm glad I sold all those mushrooms. Guys, what show do I want to see today? Jeevil, I hate to be that guy, but Seinfeld is not a show I can go see. <laughs> well, that's two people for disappointment. <laughs> Anybody else? Cause I'm about to be disappointed. <laughs> All right, here we go. Disappointment. <laughs> oh my gosh. Stop following me. <laughs> I hate this! <laughs> I'm sitting way the heck over here. <laughs> this stupid bear won't leave me alone. I thought I avoided you by switching games, but no. <laughs> Dr. Shrunk! I once got some advice from a respected man of the theater. He said, Shrunk, you'll never be a hit in a million years if you mumble all the time. I've always belted out my gags ever since. Not that it helps. The doctor is out. The joke is that he has depression. <laughs> Clap. <laughs> you can learn disappointment, but you'll have to forget an old emotion to do. Ah, <laughs> uh, this text is. Context is important, kids. <laughs> it sounds good. <laughs> I have delight, heartbreak, curiosity, and mischief. Uh, I mean, heartbreak and disappointment, pretty much the same thing. Finally, I can be disappointed. <laughs> Gosh dang it, Tutu. I agree. Finally, me and Tutu agree on something. I was also... Disappointed. There's a bank here. You know, in case you want it. There's a shady alleyway door over here. Hi, Crazy Red! <laughs> Did I? Oh, hey, thanks. 
He's selling a painting! The Wistful Painting? Wow! Can you even tell me if that one's real or not? I want to say the difference with that one is the color of the headband, maybe? If I'm remembering correctly? I don't have enough money for it anyway, but I'm just curious if it's real. You can't zoom in in this game, so... That's cool. That seems very excessive. I'm pretty sure as soon as fake paintings were a thing, the, the differences were always a thing. Like, you could always visually tell. Anyway, that's all that's in the city unless some uh, road cones want to move. I don't think there's ever anything over here, so... Well, there's also, like, Balloon Guy sometimes, but I changed the clock so he's not gonna show up because that's a punishment for time traveling, apparently. Also, Kix isn't here, but he's pretty rare, so that's not surprising. I forget, the road cones are blocking Resetti's reset center, right? I think that's a thing. Yeah, I remember they only move at night and on pretty rare random days. I know I've seen it. Because uh, I believe that's how you get the silver shovel, actually. Celebrities? Oh yeah! That's me! I won't drive, or, I'm sorry, I won't ride the bus. Uh, unless uh, I'm having a smashing good time. Then sometimes I might ride the bus by force. I mean, what was wrong with Blathers? I mean, we were talking about how he doesn't, like, tell you about things anymore. Cause yeah, I could, uh... I could see that being an issue of sorts. Uh, what's new? Nothing, apparently. Man, ten items here, too. This game, uh, really likes pitfalls, by the way. Where am I? I I'd open the gate, but we both know there's no reason to. I mean, on one hand, I understand why they cut out Blather's blathering. Because, like, it took a while sometimes. So, it kind of got a bit much after a while. That said, it does kind of neuter his character, in a way. And I know they, like kind of countered it because the museum descriptions for things kind of replaced it, but it didn't quite have the same charm, I guess. I feel like the optimal solution, honestly, is just have Blathers, like, follow you through the museum as, like, a sort of tour guide, and then, like, you can talk to him about the various things you've donated. I'm also imagining, like, as an aesthetic, if you go into the bug exhibit, he's just constantly wary of everything. <laughs> that would be pretty funny, I think.
Did I see something? Oh, it's a butterfly. Nice! Constantly daydreaming in the fish exhibit, yeah. <gasps> it's Walker! I found him! <laughs> you had a dream that we were hanging out? That's weird. <gasps> what did you call me? Sure! Bud! Okay. From now on, you're gonna be Bud. That's cool. Anyway, see you never again. <laughs> Goodbye. Wait. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy this game it goes places <laughs> what has happened in this like quick little city folk preview not really preview but like just kind of looking around deal like freaking Tutu randomly shows up again cause you know Animal Crossing streams aren't complete unless there's a tutu appearance, apparently. I don't think that will happen in, uh, in New Leaf. I don't think so, anyway. I could be wrong. I don't know. I, I forget, actually, who's in my town. I'm afraid now. <laughs> Bed! Quit! Yeah, uh, kind of ran out of things to do here. <laughs> so, did nobody figure out what my town tune is? That's fine. Man, 2008. Jeepers. It's worth mentioning, because uh, I'll, like, bring this up in the preview video that I still need to finish. <laughs> LOL. Um, like, this was probably the last game I played in relation to the uh, Animal Crossing forum that I was a part of. I, I'm pretty sure I came back very briefly for New Leaf, but it was very brief. Like, I didn't do much there at the time. That site's still up, by the way. I I'm kind of amazed, honestly, that it's still around. <laughs> anyway, next stream, I guess, is New Leaf. That might be tomorrow, uh, cause friendly reminder here, uh, I'm not gonna be streaming for, like, several days. Um, technically speaking, this is the last quote-unquote official stream for several days. My phone is all the way over there, so that doesn't help me any. Uh, yeah, like, there won't be a stream Wednesday, Friday... Or Saturday. Uh, it is technically Thanksgiving, but it's more specifically we're going to visit my sister in Chicago. So, like, I'm not even going to be home for, like, five straight days. So, but yeah, I, um, I probably might do a stream tomorrow to compensate a little bit. I mean, I doubt I would have good enough internet to stream on the road. I mean, I might, but it would pretty much just be my phone's mobile data. 
Yeah, I don't think streaming on mobile data is a great idea. TBH. I mean, I know people do it, but... Eh. Ah, but see, I have a laptop, and, uh, it's, as you may recall, not good at streaming. <laughs> Yeah, this music is something. You were close. Oh, I was close? Man. Why couldn't I be closer? I don't know. Anyway. I'll see y'all next time.